Starship Super Heavy Test Campaign, NASA Arithmetic Doom Program, yesterday's Starlink launch, ISRO, new target for Moon. Hello everyone, welcome back. Here is our new episode with latest SpaceX and space news. Let's start it. Get well today. We have a lot to discuss about the recent test campaigns conducted by SpaceX on Ship 25 and Booster 9. You know the interesting times are back. Again, SpaceX recent tests involves the complex process for stacking and attacking Ship 25 and Booster 9, which has occurred by four times these tests. Survives are critical steps in preparing for a full stack, although they didn't immediately pursue to be a bad dress. Rehearsal WDR, they did undergo multiple rounds of testing during the series of tests. Some fascinating events took place first the liquid oxygen subpolar emitted white smoke, showcasing the challenges of working the extreme cold temperature in a range of 60 to minus 20 degrees Celsius around minus 60 to minus 360 Celsius and the within steel tanks containing liquid like liquid oxygen and liquid methane rapidly chill when filled due to the lack of insulation this causes them to freeze water vapor from the humid south taxis air resulting in a layer of frost and ice as a cold supercooler steel tank form into contact with the warmer surrounding steel liquids boiled off into gas to manage pressure rockets went off this gas and this process in a critical part of the test in addition to testing ship 25 and booster 9 SpaceX successfully activated and tested the water dollar IO system. This system is responsible for ejecting a massive water amount of water is less than 60 seconds. The increased duration of this water injection is due to the addition of more water storage and high pressure gas capacity. This system now holds nearly double the amount of high press gas compared to previous tests. It's important to notice that this water is used to cool the launch pad and give it the ports of the rocket engines away from concert and steel structures, structures SpaceX takes air environmental responsibilities serious the massive amount of water used to the launch size to extensional to the project ecosystem surroundings the pad while the water turns into steam during launches there are concerns about the impact of expensive water flow the surroundings wildlife balancing the need of rockets launches with environmental concerns on the ongoing challenges the full stack ship booster pair and 25 to 9 stands at an impressive 122 m tall this make it the largest rocket ever assembled purchasing the falcon 9 and super heavy rocket recently operated by spacex flagship as a fully reused able spacecraft aim to dramatically reduce launch costs if all goes as planned into cool up to 10 times chapter 2 launch then the falcon rocket while crying significantly more layup period this has a potential to access to space however spacex to grant facing regulatory hurdles to launch ship 25 and booster 9 they had a new launch license from the u.s federal aviation administration faa which is a primary regulator from commercial space transport in the u.s in the faa is a still reviewing data and environmental impacts from starship first flight test the april which ended in the explosion due to indian failure in 2021 NASA selected SpaceX to develop a moon lander version for Starship or the Atomic 3 mission set of the date 2025. This mission aims to transport American astronauts between lunar orbit and the lunar surface. SpaceX contracts with NASA requires them to use Starship to land American astronauts on the moon ahead of other nations. Bill John Mayer, SpaceX Vice President of Build and Flight Reality, impressed the need for the latest flights to improve the Critical systems for landing NASA astronauts on the lunar surface, challenges and regulatory delays. SpaceX is dedicated to inventions and in maintaining the USS. Leadership is space exploration. Now let's discuss some update about NASA, Admis Atomics 2 and SLS rocket progress. This core stage of NASA powerful space launch system SLS rocket, which is selected to create the four astronauts of astronauts 
and true around the moon in November 2024 is currently under assemble that NASA mode assembles facility in New Orleans however a recent report suggests that are welding issues with the core stage for Arithmetic 3 another key mission that beside his mishap there are no expected delays for each year launch due to this program at Simix 2 in a significant mission as it will carry astronauts around the moon human lunar exploration. Meanwhile, at Simix 3 plays as grueling landing astronaut on the lunar surface. Both missions are equal to NASA ambition lunar program, but it appears that M3 core stage is currently facing welding issues. NASA has not publicly discussed the welding issues in its recent blog update about atomic 2 core stage. However, Boeing a key player in the SLS project clarified that the issue is not affecting the core stage for atomic 2 and it being addressed for Arithmetic 3, this suggested that while there are many BIA be a challenge NASA and its partners are actively working to resolve it and keep both missions on schedule. NASA Spaceflight reported that a welding program on Arithmetic 3 is actively being worked on and NASA officials are hopeful that the core stage will be completed the time while the specifics to welding issues are not deleted. It's clear that NASA is actively engaged in addressing the program the welding issues seem to resolve around the SLS liquid oxygen tanks. Adam Dome has been ongoing for several months. The party did not provide specific details about the natural for the welding programs as however it's a complex technical challenge that NASA Boeing and other partners are working to solve. NASA officials later clarified that the non-send conference issue the atomic tree was identified during routine quietly insurance. Checks as as currently being resolved, the M10 has the rocket remains on track to spot the aims through launch. The same assurance applies to M2, demonstrating NASA commenting to overcoming production challenges and sticking to their ambitions. Lunar exploration schedule SpaceX continues to expand its Starlink internet constellations with another successful launch of 23 Starlink satellites on the Falcon 9 rocket takeoff. From Florida's Cape Carvel Space Force Station on the company's second mission of the day, demonstrating their complementing the enhanced global internet access the launch on, on the evening of October 21st with the wave lifted off 10 17 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time the Falcon 90s for the stage which has on its Ford's flight made an impressive vertical landing about 8.5 minutes after launch it touched down safely the drone ship named a shortfall of Gatwick on the Atlantic on the Atlantic Ocean approximately 65.5 minutes after launch that 26 rolling satellites were scheduled to deploy from the Falcon 99's upper stage. These satellites are crucial components of SpaceX rolling mega constellations which aims to provide internet service to customers across the global Starlink. SpaceX ambitions project to create a mega constellations of satellites in low orbit. These satellites work together to provide internet accesses to customers even the remote and unrepresented areas with almost 4,900 operational strolling satellites already in orbit. The constellation is continually growing to reach more people is needed for reliable internet accesses. The Indian government announced plans to put astronauts on the moon by 2014 and construct an Indian space station by 2035. These achievements follow a high-level meeting cried by Indian's Prime Minister Narendra Modi to assess the progress of joint human space flight mission. The Indian government statement reveals a bold vision for a nation space program. It includes plans to establish various such stations, India Space Station by 2025 and end the first Indian astronaut to the moon by 2040.
in this global significantly or significantly forward indian space exploration india's space journey has been marked by important milestone with a focus of independent human space flight capabilities the country aims to achieve its first crew flight as a part of gagan mission in 2025 this mission is set by demonstrate indian capability to set astronauts into the space a significant achievement and it said so that's all about today episode you see tomorrow and until then goodbye